You want to outwork everyone around you. Here's how to build the unstoppable work ethic to do that. Number one, and the most important thing, which I'm gonna to go to right away, is that you need to understand that it's a grind. A strong work ethic means accepting that hard work isn't glamorous. You're not going to always be motivated to do it. You're not always going to want to do it. You're gonna to wanna to skip it a lot, dependent on how much discipline you have. You might be skipping it a lot, maybe you won't be skipping it at all for a while. But what a lot of people don't understand is that success often comes down to just doing the repetitive, unexciting tasks that others are trying to desperately avoid. So you need to be the type of person that's the exception to that rule. You need to be the person who's willing to repetitively do all the boring tasks because you know that it will take you to where you want to go. The second thing that is also very important is to get rid of all the distractions ruthlessly. Because distractions are what make your work boring. If there were no video games, if there were no junk food, if there were no movies, if there were no phones, no social media, none of these things are beneficial for you, right? But if there weren't any of these things, then your work would be so much more fun for you because you would be getting so much more dopamine from it. You would be getting a sense of progress. But now you can get this dopamine and this happiness and kind of ease from all these other sources, but these sources don't make your life better. They just make you feel a bit better for a short period of time. So when you realize that distractions are the enemy of a good work ethic, you can identify and remove anything that wastes your time. You should be treating your focus like a precious resource and guarding it with your life because it truly will make the biggest difference. The third thing is that, you need, that you need to do is to create a consistent routine. Habits make work feel automatic. Set a daily routine for anything that you want to do in your day, right? And just tackle your highest priority tasks first. And at the and preferably always at the same time. So for example, you wake up in the morning and then the first thing you do is always this, X, Y, Z, you know? And the way you develop it is you just do it for a couple of days. And if you do a habit for a week, it will become so automatic for you already in such a short amount of time that you'll just automatically start doing it the next weeks. And if you keep doing that for long enough, for months, for years, you're going to make such significant progress. And lastly is to push your limits regularly. A strong work ethic also means that you have to be pushing yourself to new limits because you never know truly how far you can go unless you go there, right? If you're not challenging yourself and you're, again, you, you know, you made the good consistent routine, that's great. But if your routine is so easy for you that you're never failing it, there might be an issue as well because if you're not challenging yourself enough, then you're not going to grow enough. So sometimes you can look at your progress particularly and see, is this consistent routine that I'm doing making me any progress? If not, then perhaps make it a bit harder, perhaps make it a bit easier. Again, it depends really on the person, but a lot of the time people just do a really easy, consistent routine and that is filled with a bunch of habits that don't actually help them that much. And then they don't really make much progress. So you need to readjust your kind of approach wherever to make it better for yourself. So remember, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Peace.